Welcome back to another six scale figure review with me, your host, That Metromania. And today, to continue Spider Man week, we have the opposite end of the spider spectrum. That makes him sound like he's like autistic or something. I'm not saying he's autistic. I mean, like, this is when Spider Man's evil. You know, he's got like that, that bad boy attitude that Spider Man, the animated series, developed uh, a little bit more. So they, the, the symbiote. Uh, wasn't always just making spider-man evil it's a whole that's not i'm not going to explain that right now that's that's not what we're here for we're here for um the figure which um the box art is super cool it's a nice shot of the figure with very hyperimposed black uh tentacles all over the place that don't really look like they belong but i mean it's an all right box art this is the sideshow exclusive version with the cool extra head that has some fun little fun little bits to it but coming around, you can see those tentacles continue. The back is pretty much just the words of, thank you everybody who worked on this. And then uh, just the front again. So let's get this out of the box and onto the spinning turntable because I am very excited to see how this guy turned out. This guy stands out in a wild way it is just like this not greasy i guess it's all like a wet black coloring to it i'm re i'm really happy it's got that like gooey and it's all one piece which is you know usual for spider-man but it's all one piece and it's like more rubbery it's not really rubbery but it's more like a texturized suit as opposed to more fabricy, which you know makes more sense for this because you can't really have a six scale symbiote because that's not a real thing that at least i'm aware of currently but it looks really good off initial impression i really want to see how the uh, hono uh hono uh symbiote suit spider-man is going to look because that's way more fabricy compared to this so that might be more poseable than uh looks wise but i'm super happy with the way that this guy has turned out so far let's take a closer look at him and get him off the spinning term table of doom and see all those fun accessories he comes with so this guy's got some pretty awesome accessories uh starting out he's got this awesome gooey blackness i don't even know what you would use this for if not to just goo you know he's got the fun the fun new web accessories but all in venomy you know, they're not Venomy, symbiote -y. He's got these curly Q. He's got the um, spread shot. He's got the, uh, the long one. The long one with a slight curl. And, you know, a little, a couple little of these ones as well. So he's got plenty of web accessories. Um, my biggest gripe is the fact that, um, well, the hands look super cool. It's got the, um, the arrow on it. But usually symbiote spider-man the web comes out from the top but he's also not shooting webs he's shooting symbiote symbiote goo but usually it it, it comes out from the bottom in this one because this is interchangeable which is a shame because it's not as accurate as it could be i already can't remember if i said it but he does have the underarm wings as well so you can just <sighs> pop well the opposite direction obviously idiot but you just want to pop those on like that so he could fly around because that is a big part of the game is the new uh, web wings and then let me move all the accessories that i just put in my way out of the way the big accessory the uh special edition version is this like getting engrossed in venomy goo spider-man sculpt which looks super cool um you can see here the detailing of it is really nicely done. I'm quite happy with this, but the fun part about it is, is the sculpt can slide out if you're careful enough about it, which I probably won't be. But look at that. You can put that at anything now. And you get a free Spider-Man sculpt out of this. It is, I believe, the exact same sculpt as the um, other Spider-Man. So you get a free Spider-Man sculpt out of this as well. I don't know what you would need one for. I don't know if the eyes come out though. Doesn't look like it. But I mean, free Spider-Man sculpt, right? That's awesome. And then I guess you could just 
put this on whatever, right? As long as it fits. See if I can find a good Spider-Man sculpt here. See if it fits. So, oh, look at that. It's a little small, but you can get a Holland sculpt, like a Holland Spider-Man sculpt in there. Oh, no, he's getting venomized. Oh, it's getting eaten. <laughs> you know, that's the fun of it. You just get this free accessory that you can just pop whatever in and you can you can imagine your your life away my question is right no you guys are gonna you guys are gonna think i'm a silly guy for this one maybe but i have to know no i don't think it'll fit i'm trying to fit the uh 2099 sculpt in there right now and i think it's just slightly too wide which is a shame I can see where it's getting stuck, but I don't want to move it because I don't want to break this piece. It's much fun as I'm having with it. I think a Venomized 2099 would look super cool. I think they've done that recently in the comics. But enough jibber, jabber, jabber, jibber. Let's actually look at the jibber, jabber, jabber figure. So that sculpt is super nice. I think it is, uh, I mean, it screams the symbiote suit. It does a lot better job than, um, the last time we saw it in media, which was, you know, the 2007 Tobey Maguire movie, which is just the suit that he had on, but black, which did look good for the time. But the symbiote suit's always going to look great with those big, beautiful white eyes, the big spider logo and white on it. I just think it stands out better and it really helps differentiate it from that, that classic red and blue that he has on. And it just... It looks really good. You can see there is slight details like lining back here and all the lines and little pieces here. So it's not just like a smooth suit. You can see like muscle textures and like little bits and pieces that aren't normally on the suit. So I don't know why uh, the symbiote added it to the suit for whatever reason. But it looks really good. And if we pop this off, it took the it took the ball. So we're gonna pretend. We're gonna pretend like the ball is still on there. So pretend like the ball is still on there and his neck is not looking. But you can kind of, you can kind of see how that looks, which does look good. But you're gonna have to put that in a really dynamic pose to get it to look, um, not weird, I guess, with just the sculpt on like that. I will probably keep this on and use that extra thing for more dynamic, fun photography things because this sculpt does look really good. And you want the symbiote suit, you know? Finally, I can make my um my um Shattered Dimension Spider-Man lineup, because what's that? That's red and blue, that's symbiote, that's noir in 2099. So we finally have a Shattered, Shattered Dimensions lineup, which is probably what my thumbnail will be now that I think about it. So that logo, it's awesome. I love the way it's just slightly raised up from the suit. You can see it's just slightly there. You can also see all those little itty bitty lines that add a little bit more, um, I guess, texture and flavor to the suit. The suit does look really nice and wet. It's got that, you know, Venom movie, Venom figure feeling. And if the new 19 inches of Venom is anything to go off, or if this is anything to go off of, that 19 inches of Venom we're going to be getting, it's going to look really nice. And it does as is classic go all the way around underneath and to the back where my biggest gripe with the figure is so it does come with the arms i left this out but it comes with the arms they're the exact same as the other arms except for they have all these little venomy bits on them i'm gonna be the first person to say it i don't care for the arms and they all just fell which is great um, I'm super happy with the way the Iron Spider is handling the new arms where they're magnetic because I just don't like the fact that these are here because it's covering details that aren't added to the back. Like you can't see the little spider, um, the fangs. So you're missing that detail now because you had to cover those holes with those so if you didn't want the arm. And I just think it doesn't look great. I don't think magnetic arms are going to be, you know, the be all end all solution. I think those will fall off over time. But I don't like this either. Maybe maybe like a magnetic cap that would go over it that you could just 
peel off something like this but smaller to just go directly onto the hole and you just lose some little magnet to take it off i'm not sure but i'm just not feeling this because it takes away from a really good figure just something small like just a piece sticking off that just doesn't look that great anyway we're about to see a lot of black so other than the hands with those lovely little white arrows it is pretty much just all black the rest of the suit which is you know par for the course for a symbiote he also is cheeked up so this suit really made sure to keep all of those juicy juicy details on that body anyway before he um loses his head why don't we bring out the rest of the game spider-man that i do have So you can really see how well he blends into the um, into the game unit that I have here. Uh, I am super happy with this Shattered Dimensions uh, thing that I've got going on here. I love every single one of these suits, especially the twenty ninety nine that I got for five dollars on Sideshow. Thank you, Sideshow, because <clears throat> I spent considerably more money on the other three. Um, but yes, they all look really good together. However, I, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, oh, wait, the, um, the miles that I have right here in my hand, actually. Just to throw them out there as well, because I feel like it'd be rude to not have him here in my Spider-Man comparison. He is slightly taller than 2099 and slightly, I mean, smaller, smaller, not taller, smaller. As you can see, than 2099, he is smaller than Peter ever so slightly. And he is obviously smaller than Peter in black. They all look really good together. I feel like I feel like um, Spider-Man Noir is slightly smaller. I saw somebody do a body swap of that guy recently. And it looked really good. And I'm thinking about doing the same. Because my body is really, really loose on my guy. Which sucks. But um, Miles looks great. 29.9 looks great. Peter looks great. Peter in black looks great. And... Uh, I keep forgetting Spider-Man Noir look all great. So this is everything I have for the game universe except for my Bodega Cats Miles which I'm just going to keep off to the side for now because I want to kind of have more mainline front names and not the side stuff. And here it is. Here is my gameverse shelf. Um next up Spider-Man Supreme. Not Spider-Man Supreme. Uh Superior Spider-Man which is one of my favorite suits. And don't get it confused with Spider Shot. Please and thank you. Anyway, let's um let's clean the board here and do some articulation. I wish I had a shocker figure so I could recreate the shocker photo, but unfortunately for now I do not. But what I do have is a life fitting 360 degrees, 720, whatever the next one is. Oh my god, it just never ends. Head goes up that far and down that far. Arm goes up about that far. There is some good back and forth action. It goes up that far and back that far. The suit will be really restrictive because of the material. He's got some good ab crunch with some material fray up there. I'm going to go only that far back just because. It's a not bad spread, actually. Up that far. Back that far. And a decent knee bend. There is our par for the course ankle articulation. I mean, knee, foot articulation and ankle articulation, obviously. Which do make a pretty solid suit. Anyway, let's uh, Venom swing to the end of the video and wrap up Spider-Man week. At least for now. I want to be upfront with you guys. I didn't know that that goo piece had a peg uh, for the hand. So now I figured out what it is. I still don't really know what to do with it because it's not like the venom piece where you can kind of like jimmy it around somebody to make it look like he's grabbing somebody. It's just like a goo piece. So we could shoot people with his goo beams like it's Bendy and the Ink Machine, I guess. But it looks super cool. And so does this guy. I am pumped to finally have this guy in the collection. He came out a lot quicker than I thought he would. I feel like all of these Spider-Man figures, that was what, November? Oh my god, it's already almost been, it's been a little under a year, but I feel like 
it's pretty good speed for Hot Toys because this came out after the Red and after Miles. And I can't remember if it's before or after Venom, but hopefully this means Venom is soon so I can put that guy on a shelf and hopefully figure out what the hell I'm going to do uh, with the rest of my Spider-Man uh, Spider-Verse collection whenever that decides to start dropping, which hopefully will also be soon because that's what four figures so far plus a third party figure. I'm still not sure if I'm picking up or not, but I'm probably going to pick up as soon as I get the chance to. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe and do all of those good little things. There's a bell, I think, that you can hit. I've never said that before, but it's time to start that. Let's start a trend. Hit the bell. The trend is hitting the bell on my channel specifically. Good. The trend has already started. Good job, guys. And, uh, you know, the, the channel's been doing really good recently. I'm super happy with what we've been able to do in the last year. And uh, I love to keep that momentum going. So liking and subscribing does wonders for me. And it does wonders for you because that means you get more of me, which most people wish they could have. Most people wish, they dream that they could have just a fraction of a second more with me in their life. But not everybody, not everybody gets it. I get it. You get it. We all get it. You get me every time you like and subscribe. And with all of that out of the way, I've been me and you've been you. Thank you for watching another six scale figure review. Hopefully you'll join me next time when we review something maybe new. I will see you then.